Hey guys, Pokerversity here, and there was a brand new content dump today, so let's cover everything that you may have missed, and even the things that you probably didn't miss. Just really want to get my thoughts out there on this brand new set of trailers. Let's just dive straight into this. The first thing that the trailer shows us is Type Null's Evolution Silvali. We saw this yesterday in the Koro Koro leaks. There's basically no new information about this other than the fact that its ability is actually called the RKS system, not the AR system. So, this is a little bit of news. Um, we don't really know anything new about this Pokemon. It's still kind of a big mystery how the items for this Pokemon works, but I'm sure we'll see that when the actual game comes out. So. Let's look forward to seeing a little bit more about this Pokemon, because there's not really anything new here. The trailer then goes on to show us a little bit more information that we've already had in Koro Koro, but it's worth noting because there was a little bit more information here. We see Jang Moho's evolutions, and more importantly we get their English names, which are not easy to pronounce. First up we have the middle stage evolution, Hakam Moho, and then we have the final stage, Kom Moho. Kommoo gets a special attack called Clanging Scales, which is a sound-based move, where it scrapes the scales all over its body, and then it drops its defense. So, it's an interesting type of move. Interestingly enough, these Pokemon have the ability Bulletproof or Soundproof, so they will be resistant to sound-based moves, so in theory, Clanging Scales doesn't really work against them, so they can't be damaged by their own attack if that was ever going to happen. Quite an interesting uh, move and quite interesting Pokemon overall, so really, really cool designs and just good to get some more information on these. The trailer then goes on to show us Bound Sweets evolution, which is quite unexpected. We see Bound Sweets middle stage evolution is called Steeny, still a pure grass type, but then we see its final stage evolution is called Sarina, which is Still a pure grass type, but it has a unique ability called Queenly Majesty, which prevents priority moves being used against it. Very, very good ability. Serena has another ability called Trop Kick, which lowers an opponent's attack by showering it with blazing hot kicks in a style similar to that originating from tropical countries. This is a really interesting move. It can be seen here in the trailer. Overall, this design for a Pokemon isn't that interesting for me. These are still pure grass type, which I'm surprised by. I was expecting Bound Sweet to maybe get the Fairy subtype, or possibly even Psychic looking at these evolutions, but overall it doesn't get it. Still an interesting concept for a Pokemon, but Bound Sweet is still my favourite of the three. The next thing up in the trailer is Cutie Fly's evolution called Rybombi or Rybombi. I don't really know how you pronounce this one. It's still a bug fairy and it's such a cool Pokemon. We actually did see this Pokemon leaked in an earlier trailer, uh, just briefly, but this is still a really, really cool Pokemon. Really like this. There's nothing really that unique about it. We don't really learn anything from this press release. We just see it for the first time, but I really like this design. This is currently one of my favourite Alola Pokemon. Pokemon. This and Cutie Fly are looking to be one of my favourite lines and I'm probably going to use one of them on my team. The last Pokemon that we see in the trailer is Alolan Grimer and on top of that Alolan Muck. Now I theorised that we'd get an Alolan Muck and this is just really confirming the fact that all of the Alolan Pokemon that have evolutions are probably also going to get Alolan forms. So this is really cool, look forward to seeing Alolan Persian. Alolan Muck is keeping that Poison Dark typing, which as I said is an amazing defensive typing. Got a resistance to Psychic, only a times 2 weakness to ground, and it also has 4 resistances on top of that. Everything else is normally effective. Really good Pokemon. Poison Touch or Gluttony is its ability. Really, really good Pokemon. Really looking forward to seeing this in competitive play. Uh, this is a really cool Pokemon design wise, it glows, the the different colours ripple throughout it. it, it just looks amazing, it looks almost radioactive and this is a great iteration on Muck, exactly what I'd expect based around what Alolan Grimer looks like. The final thing that the trailer goes out of its way to show us is these two new trainers. The first up is Olivia, she is a Kahuna and she is the Kahuna of a Kala Island which is the second island in the game. She specialises in Rock-type Pokemon, which is interesting because we didn't know that the Kahuna specialised in a Pokemon. This brings me into a whole load of other theories that I will be covering in a separate video because I don't really want to talk about them here. 
Uh, really cool concept wise we see from the English trailer she uses a nose pass in the Japanese trailer we actually see she uses a lichen rock midnight form really interesting because I don't know whether we're going to see the different forms based on whether you're playing sun or moon whether we'll get the opposites so that you can finish your pokedex I'm not really sure but that would be quite a cool little change that they could implement overall she's got a really cool design and I'm looking forward to seeing what maybe comes next the other trainer that we see in the trailer is Illimar. She is the first trial captain that we saw in Koro Koro this week. She is a normal type trial captain, so I called that one. You can see in her hair, she's got the trial captain badge with the upward symbol on it. Really, really cool. She'll probably have the totem Pokemon linked with her, which is Gumshoes or Alolan Raticate. Really interesting that Alolan Raticate can be a trial totem pokemon for a trial captain who specializes in normal type pokemon when it's only half normal really interesting overall a lot of implications for this like i said i really don't want to dive too deeply into the trial captain thing overall i really like this design though i've liked all the trial captains so far you we've got a separate video coming down the line all about how the island trial might work so stay tuned for that and that about wraps it up for all of the news actually this week. Um, overall we've had 8 new Pokemon announced if you include Alolan, Grimer and Muck. This has been a massive week for Sun and Moon content. So much news. Really enjoying getting my thoughts out here to you guys. So overall that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you're excited for in Sun and Moon, let me know what you liked out of this press release. And on top of that, if you want to see more Sun and Moon content, just subscribe right here because I'm going to be covering everything. We have that demo version coming out in only a couple of days now, look forward to content regarding that. And also look forward to Sun and Moon content when the games finally release. Stay tuned for more news. Once again, guys, I have been Pokeversity, and thank you very much for watching.